If you have ever had the feeling of impatience or feeling left behind or feeling like you're the only one that hasn't gotten somewhere in life, then strap in because this is what we're going to talk about in today's video because this is something that I have struggled with in the past and it's something that I still struggle with even to this day. So let's talk about it. Now I know most of you watch my channel and have probably found me because you've been interested in moving to Florida, but I promise you that this is related to that because if you have been wanting to move to Florida for a while, but you just haven't figured out how it's gonna be possible or how you're going to make that move, then this relates to you because that is a way that you are feeling stuck in life. And not everyone's goal is moving to Florida and there's more to life than that. And people have all sorts of different goals. And so basically I wanna talk about that in this video because a lot of times we get hung up on different obstacles. You know, sometimes we have these desires or things we wanna accomplish in life and all we end up being able to see are the obstacles that are right in front of us instead of the opportunity. And I know this because I have been one of those people and sometimes I still am. I'm getting better at recognizing it and being able to overcome that. And so that's why I wanted to make a video on this topic. I recently listened to this audio book called Late Bloomers. And it's one of those books that just came to me the right place at the right time. Because since this is something that I have struggled with a lot in the past and something I have been struggling a lot with lately, it was the perfect book for me to listen to now because my current struggle in life is figuring out how I can turn this YouTube channel into my full-time income and have real estate be my side income because right now that's flip-flop. Real estate is my full-time and YouTube is my side income. But my ultimate goal is to completely reverse that, do a 180, and still do a little bit of real estate on the side, but have YouTube be my main gig. And after making videos for a little over a year now, I have definitely realized that making these YouTube videos is something that I enjoy doing, and it's ultimately something that suits my personality a lot better than real estate ever did, because I just have to sit here and talk to a camera, I don't have to go out and shake anyone's hand, or meet anyone in order to do this. And as an introvert, it's something that I enjoy doing and it's a way for me to really get my message across without being obligated to a million different social events every single month. The problem, I want it now. And similarly to myself, you have probably felt this many times where there's something that you want in life and you just want it right now. And of course, why not? We live in a society that perpetuates everything being instantaneous now. We have instant Amazon grocery deliveries. We have Grubhub that will have you know lunch to your door in 15 minutes. We have every single type of video, movie, or anything ever made at the access of your fingertips on demand with YouTube or Apple TV or video on demand services. And that has trained us in the last few years to make us want everything right now. So it's not just me that is falling victim to this, it's pretty much everyone. If you're connected to the modern world, you can probably be suffering from this same affliction. If you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you are subscribed because I plan on putting out more content like this in the future, and you might as well go ahead and hit the like button while you're at it. But I discovered Late Bloomers, and I thought it would be a good listen for me because I am such an impatient person and I always have been for a very long time since I was a small child and I thought it would be good to hear the stories of people that took a really long time in life to really find their way and to really figure out how to make something of themselves because in a time like this when everything is instant, it's nice to hear what there is to be learned from the other side of the spectrum. And the problem with things that come instantly nowadays is that everything that is not instant is now looked at as either not worth pursuing or something that's completely unworthy of obtaining in life if it's gonna take more than a few seconds. And the media and our longing for success stories in life is no help in making this problem any better. In fact, they make things so much worse because what gets celebrated nowadays? On YouTube, it's the YouTuber that makes it to 100,000 subscribers or a million subscribers in less than a year. In the corporate or job world, it's the young kid that 
opens a startup and becomes a multimillionaire by the time they're 20 years old. And then this is perpetuated somehow as being the norm. And it's just not. But by looking at everything we see on TV or any kind of advertising or the stories that make it into the headlines as success stories, it can be very easy to come to believe that this is the norm. Not only do they make you feel like this is normal, these stories also tend to make you feel like somehow you are behind if you are not on pace with that level of success. But what you never see on those headlines are success stories of how someone worked their whole life for 50 years and were finally able to get a good retirement plan in place and save enough money to actually move to Florida and retire in the place of their dreams. Or you never hear about the story where it took someone 20 years of building a business finally to make a profit and become successful. Or you never hear the story of how somebody rented a house for 20 or 30 years never owning their own home and somehow through working a minimum wage job they're able to put enough money aside in order to finally buy their own home and live in the house that they own and to them that's their version of the American dream but we never hear those type of stories we just hear the extravagant ones and the ones that carry extreme levels of success with them and by listening to the late bloomers book it made me realize that some people spend years if not decades trying to not only just figure out what they want in life but also achieve their dreams and that starts to make me feel very lucky because as a 33 year old guy I'm definitely not that old but I'm not that young anymore either and this is about the time in life when I guess people start to assess where they are and how far they've made it and sometimes you can't help but compare yourself to others or what you think is normal and in a world like this it can easily make you feel left behind but after listening to this book I was finally able to relax a little bit and start feeling more thankful for all the things I have accomplished so far and I'm starting to become more okay with not getting instant gratification you know if I publish a video now and it doesn't go viral I'm okay with that you know it took me years to become successful in the real estate business did I want it to come instantly of course I did but it just didn't and I have to look back and reflect on those experiences and apply it to this one when it comes to growing the YouTube channel and you need to do the same when it comes to your own life and your own goals and start really recognizing that it's normal for things to take a while to accomplish especially anything worthwhile the main thing is figuring out what exactly it is that you want out of life and then putting together a step-by-step -step action plan that you are going to be able to follow that you know in your heart you can actually do not some audacious goal and then follow that plan until your dream becomes a reality because this is the only way to make those things happen long term and if it doesn't happen tomorrow next month or even next year don't worry because this is normal and don't let anybody else make you believe otherwise. I strongly recommend you go ahead and give this book a listen. I have a link for it down below in the description. Let me know what you think about today's video. I know it's certainly quite a bit different than what I normally do. Go ahead and check out one of my other videos right over here, and I'll see you guys over there.